we all know that 2024 is the year of the cargo bicycle. Well, actually, it's the year of the dragon, but same, same. Am I right? Cargo bicycle popularity is not slowing down. And if you've ever considered adding one to your fleet, you might just be cargo bike curious. Hey, my name is Ryan. I'm the brand manager here at Curbside Cycle, and today we're talking cargo bikes. Some of the things we're going to cover in this short video are the different types of cargo bicycles, how to choose the right cargo bicycle for you and your household, and some common anxieties you may have when deciding what cargo bicycle is right for you and how to squash those fears. Just consider me your cargo bike matchmaker. When starting to consider cargo bicycles, you can split your options into three simple categories. Number one, do you want a two-wheeled cargo bicycle or a three-wheeled, also known as a trike? Number two, are you looking for an e-cargo bicycle or a non-electric, also known as acoustic? Number three, are you interested in a long tail cargo bicycle or a front loading bicycle? Now let's break that down. When deciding between a two wheeled cargo bicycle or a tricycle cargo bike, this is a relatively easy distinction to make. You can make this distinction between a two wheeled cargo bicycle and a three wheeled one, also known as a cargo trike, simply by looking at it. Two-wheeled cargo bicycles are largely marketed towards the avid cyclist. However, we believe here at Curbside Cycle that anyone can grow to love a two-wheeled cargo bike. Three-wheeled cargo bicycles, or trikes, are known for their extreme stability, and with that comes a larger carrying capacity, both in size and in shape. Folks with very little experience, even with city riding, can feel comfortable on a three-wheeled cargo bicycle as it is obviously extremely stable. Three-wheeled cargo bicycles are the obvious choice for a lot of families because of the amount that they can hold, whether it be people, animals, or groceries. Two-wheeled cargo bikes are often the choice for avid cyclists because of their thin frames and their ability to maneuver in and out of traffic. That being said, trikes being larger can offer more safety in the form of visibility. The larger you are on the road, the more secure and safe you'll be. Let's talk about the differences between an e-assist or an acoustic cargo bicycle. The general population in Canada lives, works, and plays within a 10 kilometer radius of their home. 10 kilometers may not seem like much, but when you're running around town, dropping the kids off, picking up groceries, running errands for your small business, we suggest going for an e-assisted cargo bicycle. Some folks do prefer an acoustic cargo bicycle setup, and this is for a myriad of reasons. One of the reasons you may decide to opt for an acoustic cargo bicycle might be due to finances. An acoustic cargo bicycle may save you up to $10,000, and this is largely because e-cargo bikes tend to be pricier due to the electronic system and battery. Additionally, the frames are specifically designed to manage the weight and torque of the bicycle. Additionally, you might want to opt for an acoustic cargo bike if you, like myself, want to work on your own bicycle. For obvious reasons, it's best to keep any e-bike maintenance to the professionals. This could be due to personal injury, injury to your property, or even simply just voiding the bicycle's warranty. When in doubt, give us a shout and we can set you up with a Bosch or Shimano certified bicycle mechanic. Rolling on to long tail versus front loading cargo bicycles. As it sounds, long tail bicycles actually situate the bulk of your cargo at the rear of the bike. You may opt for a long tail cargo bicycle if you have older children and want a bike that you can seamlessly fold into your fleet even after your kids have grown. Of course, front loading cargo bicycles can be the most popular choice of cargo bicycle here in North America, especially when you're considering kid carrying and pet carrying capabilities. The front loading cargo bike that has the most child carrying capacity would be the Urban Arrow. The Urban Arrow allows for three children in the front cargo area and one child seat at the rear. Though the front loading cargo bike may be the most obvious choice when considering child carrying capacities, there is a bit of a learning curve when you're getting used to having that sort of weight distribution at the front of your bike. The benefits though of having your cargo directly in front of you allows for easy communication with any passengers and active monitoring of your cargo as well. 
Importantly, the difference in carrying the weight at the front versus behind is the stability. The cargo has a lower center of gravity on a front loader. The long tail puts the weight over the rear wheel, which makes it more top heavy. But that's why we primarily recommend a smaller wheel version like the multi-tinker. Equally important to consider if you're cargo bike curious is what your local infrastructure looks like as well as your local e-bike laws. Although popularity of cargo bicycles and e-bicycles alike are at an all-time high, infrastructure is about 10 years behind, unfortunately. If you're cargo bike curious, please do consider the routes you take to work, school, leisure, play, and home. As far as legislation goes, it does vary from province to province and country to country. Currently in Ontario, these are the requirements for all e-assisted and cargo bicycles. Cargo bicycles must have two or three wheels and be equipped with pedals at all times. Simply put, they must have a platform for carrying the cargo as well as handlebars. Most importantly though are the dimensions. Cargo bicycles cannot exceed 51.2 inches in width, 157.5 inches in length, 86.6 inches in height, and the cargo bicycle must be equipped with a motor that does not exceed 1000 watts. We here at Curbside Cycle only carry cargo bikes within those dimensions. As I'm your matchmaker, similarly to a relationship, you are gonna wanna consider your personal goals when it comes to your cargo bicycle. Some things to consider are, do you have or want children or pets? Do you want the ability to carry large cargo that is not actually passengers? Do you wanna have the ability to utilize your cargo bicycle for your own business? Will you be sharing your cargo bicycle with family or friends? Where will your bike live when it's not in use? How far do you wanna be able to go on your cargo bicycle? And of course, what kind of commitment financially are you looking to have? Finally, let's cover some common anxieties you might be having when considering adding a cargo bike to your fleet. First off, let's talk about cargo safety. And by this, I actually mean keeping your cargo safe. As I mentioned previously, the difference between a front loading and a long tail cargo bicycle is that with a front loading cargo bike, you have access to your cargo at all times and eyes on it as well. Many front loading cargo bikes feature high impact resistant EPP foam, similar to your helmet, but on steroids. Unlike your helmet, the cargo area that features this EPP foam can withstand many impacts while also making the bike lighter without sacrificing cargo safety. And of course, the larger your cargo bicycle is, the more visible you are to traffic and other cyclists. A super common fear new cargo bike owners have is bike theft. Of course, no bicycle, just like cars, is theft proof, but we can make it super inconvenient for even the most savvy of bike thieves. Here are some tips if you want to make sure that your bike is as close to bike theft proof as possible. You're going to want to make sure that you have two high quality locks, one to go through the frame of the bicycle, the other through the wheel and frame of the bicycle. For additional security, you can opt in for an ABUS alarm box. The ABUS alarm box emits a very loud, very annoying sound, even if it's just nudged after being set. This will scare any potential thieves and actually prevent damage to your bike. Here's an example. If you do wanna prepare for the potential of bike theft, Apple AirTags are a great and relatively economical way to track down your bike in the event of loss. Most folks will choose to opt in their bike into their home insurance, and we here at Curbside Cycle strongly recommend doing so as well. Customizing your cargo bike is a fun family activity that your kids will love. Additionally, it can help reunite you with your cargo bike in the event of theft due to its recognizability. That being said, the only thing that can truly prevent theft are high quality locks. All right, let's talk motors and batteries. Motors and batteries may be the largest barrier to entry for someone considering cargo bicycles. That being said, like anything else, if you understand your fear, you can squash them. 
I'm sure you've heard of the fires started by e-bikes in New York and even here in Toronto over the last couple of years. The issue with lithium-ion battery fires is that they're extremely unstable cells. That being said, you most likely use them in your daily life. Lithium-ion batteries should only ever be purchased from verified dealers and in conjunction with the same brand of chargers. We here at Curbside Cycle prefer using certified Bosch or Shimano chargers and batteries. Of course, we recommend here at Curbside Cycle proper maintenance, storage, and usage of all chargers and batteries. When used correctly, an e-bike battery is no more a threat to you than your daily laptop. One of the largest fears I have when considering cargo bicycles is simply, what if I hate it? What if it hurts to ride? What if I park it and never use it? What happens if it breaks? While there is a simple answer to all of these worries, and the answer is test riding. Almost all bicycle shops that retail cargo bicycles not only will let you test ride them, but they encourage it. The program that we run here at Curbside Cycle for test riding is called Try Before You Buy. And this is because we want you to be 100% confident in your purchase. Although most cargo bicycles are pitched as a one size fits all situation, not every cargo bicycle is right for every person. Make sure to ask the sales staff at your local bike shop what cargo bicycle could be suitable based on your height and your inseam. The more performance-based cargo bicycles like Bullet from Larry vs. Harry puts the rider in a more athletic roadster style hunched forward position. The roadster style cargo bike can be a little bit difficult if you have a shorter inseam or are a little bit shorter in general. If you have a shorter inseam, you may want to opt for something that has a step through frame like the Urban Arrow Family Cargo Line or the Load 60 from Reese and Muller. The majority of cargo bicycles that we carry here at Curbside Cycle feature a step through or sloping frame. This facilitates sharing between family members or friends and allows for, in general, a more comfortable ride. Lastly, I want to talk about the importance of community when you decide to embark on this cargo bike adventure. Cargo bike communities are built of like-minded individuals who know how life-changing a cargo bike can be. Errands are no longer errands, but opportunities for adventure. The half hour normally spent in traffic, now spent on the playground. The 15 minutes you normally spend looking for a parking spot, now spent chatting with your neighbors. A cargo bike can truly enrich your life strengthen bonds, and even extend time. Here at Curbside Cycle, we wanna facilitate these communities so you can feel comfortable and engaged with your choice. That's why here at Curbside, we're gonna be running our own group rides, cargo bike hangouts, and a bunch more community events. Stay tuned and up to date by visiting us at our website, following us on Instagram, and subscribing to our YouTube channel. And of course, pop on by the shop to say hi. Maybe we can take you out for a ride sometime.